In 1948, the second Queen of the Netherlands, Juliana, ascended the throne. She met her husband, Prince Bernard, at the Winter Olympics in 1936. Queen Wilhelmina was quite pleased with this son-in-law. At that time, the Netherlands was a Protestant country, and members of the royal family had to marry someone of the same faith, ruling out Catholics. The potential candidates from European royalty were limited to those from the UK, Sweden, and Germany. Bernard had a respectable family background and was intelligent. In his youth, he wore glasses, which gave him a scholarly and handsome appearance. Thus, Queen Wilhelmina grew increasingly satisfied with her choice of son-in-law. Queen Juliana was not considered very beautiful in her youth, leading to the widespread belief that Bernard never loved her and was only attracted to her status and wealth. They had four daughters, the eldest of whom would later become Queen Beatrix. However, Bernard had six daughters, as he fathered two illegitimate children. Queen Juliana chose not to divorce him partly because Bernard was quite capable. During World War II, he contributed to the Dutch war effort, and in public appearances, he spoke only Dutch, not German, earning him considerable goodwill at the time. One of his trademarks later in life was always wearing a white carnation in his suit, a symbol to commemorate the war. After the war, Bernard represented the Netherlands actively on the global political and business stage. Besides being involved in Dutch companies, he helped establish a series of post-war organizations. One notable organization is the Bilderberg Forum, which annually gathers top political and business leaders to discuss secretive but highly influential topics. It is said that significant ideas, such as the founding of the European Community, were conceived at this forum. With such a capable husband, Queen Juliana focused on her children aside from her official duties. Among their four daughters, the youngest, Christina, was born nearly blind due to a condition caused by Juliana contracting rubella during pregnancy. Queen Juliana felt deeply guilty about this and, in her desperation to cure her daughter's blindness, she turned to a female clairvoyant named Greet Hoffmans, who claimed she could heal the princess's eyes. Juliana believed her and invited Hoffmans to live in the palace, where she followed her advice unquestioningly. After a few years, Hoffman's influence over the Queen grew significantly, which angered Bernard greatly. He publicly revealed these secrets in an interview, successfully using the media to expel Hoffman's from the palace. In the interview, Bernard mentioned that he had considered divorce but refrained because he believed the Queen still loved him deeply. Indeed, by that time, his prestige was nearly on par with that of the Queen. However, the higher one rises, the more cautious one must be, and Bernard clearly did not understand this principle. At the peak of his power and reputation, he was involved in a bribery scandal involving millions of dollars, which instantly ruined his reputation. All his powers and positions were stripped away. At the time, he held a position in the Dutch military, and the bribe was paid by an American company seeking to sell their aircraft to the Dutch armed forces. This scandal broke in 1976, and its repercussions lasted for several years. In 1980, Queen Juliana chose to abdicate early, passing the throne to her eldest daughter, Beatrix. Queen Juliana reigned for 32 years, and although she faced several incidents that threatened the reputation of the royal family, her always approachable and humble manner helped her navigate through these crises. Her husband caused her concern throughout their lives, but in retirement, they did not live separately and were often seen together. They both passed away in 2004 at the age of 94, within the same year.